Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooke and we do a lot of thrifting and fashion content here on my channel. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Today is all about fall 2022 fashion trends, just stuff I'm loving in general that I'm going to be incorporating into my wardrobe during fall. So I have a list of stuff in my notes right here that I'll be going off of and I'm going to be throwing up some example photos as I go along from my Pinterest board and just stuff I found on Pinterest to describe this the best way I can. So first up on my list I have chunky necklaces and chunky jewelry in general. So specifically like DIY necklaces I actually got this one I'm wearing right here for my local beauty supply and I absolutely love it. It's actually wood just any like one pendant like necklace like this is very trendy right now. You can also go to your local arts and craft like supply store and get charms and make your own necklaces with like little cord wires like this one. So easy, so affordable, and an even more affordable way to get charms because yeah, I, I know buying them at the store can be really pricey, is going to a thrift store and looking in their jewelry counter and all that. They always have loose pendants and they're usually so, so cheap unless they're just like, you know, real gold or something like crazy like that. But I have a local thrift store to me that I got all of these chunky rings at, like literally every single one of these I got in one trip besides my wedding ring, obviously. But all of my chunky rings right here, I'll throw up some more examples of chunky rings and like the silhouettes of rings I'm looking for. But these were amazing. They were under $5 a piece. So always check your local thrift store before going and buying some crazy outrageous jewelry that you might not be able to afford just cause you wanna hop on a trend, you know what I mean? I mean, even if you generally always like chunky jewelry like this like I do I always try to thrift before I spend more money than I need to I also went to my local Michaels and already got some like DIY cords and a couple of little charms for myself that I'm gonna go try to make my own necklaces with I can't wait and this is such a timeless piece to me honestly it's not just a trend I love that it's trending because it's super cute but this is very reminiscent of the 90s girls um, I'll throw up some pictures if I can find them. I was just watching Seinfeld the other night and Elaine had a corded necklace on like this with a chunky cross that was like silver. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so in right now. So it's very reminiscent of the 90s and I absolutely love that. Okay, so the next trend I'm loving is the ribbons in the hair, the ones that I have in right now. I layered black and this chrome silver layer together because it had black and like rhinestones on my shirt and I just love silver and black together and it goes with my rings. And I've been loving them also worn just like tied around the neck. You know what I mean? Like just as like a necklace, that's super cute as well. I think incorporating ribbons is just super timeless again, but I love that it's trending right now. I've seen a lot of people wearing ribbons as accessories. You can even tie them like on your pants. You can tie them on your bags. Just throughout your hair, you could braid them through your hair if you wanted to, wanted to like add like different colors. That'd be so cute. And it also goes along into like the ballet core aesthetic that we've been seeing like in the past this year that's gonna fold over into this year as well. And the ribbons definitely go into that. I remember being a ballerina when I was younger and always having ribbons in my hair. My mom always dressed me like that. And then when I was a cheerleader, ribbons in the hair, it's just, you know, it's just something that can always be done, but you know, of course it's trending right now. So I went to my local craft store, got the cheapest ribbons I could find, and I had some on sale at the front as well. So, I mean, it's not an expensive trend to hop onto. So if later on you don't want it, wrap a package with it. Okay, so for the next one, I am absolutely loving and been seeing everywhere like people pinning it and I also saw it on like the runways and everything is the thicker strapped belts plus the thick chunky belt buckle. So I'm actually wearing an example of that right now. Honestly, when I got dressed this morning, I wasn't planning on filming this video. It just worked out that I was wearing a good bit of trends. But this skirt I thrifted, that's pinstripe, like a maxi denim skirt. I'll throw up a whole picture of my outfit or like a TikTok or whatever I do today so you can see it fully. But I have this thicker, like suede brown belt that actually came with the skirt. When I thrifted it, this skirt was brand new. It was like, Oh, such a find. And then on top of it being like a thick strapped belt, it has the big chunky belt buckle on it as well. And I have seen so many people starting to get into more accessorizing belts and stuff like that. Layering belts on top of belts on top of belts is like one of my favorite things to do as well. It's very 90s, like Y2K-esque. 
and I absolutely love it. I don't think it's something that is, if you buy into it, it's gonna look disgusting five years from now. I think it's something that you can keep in your closet forever. This skirt is definitely a 2000 skirt. I could tell by the tag when I thrifted it. So buy one that you truly, really love. Don't get one that's super trendy that every single girl at your school has. You know what I'm saying? Like get stuff that you really like. Thrift it, try to thrift it. I thrifted this whole skirt piece. Like a lot of stuff. You can find a lot of stuff at the thrift store that I'm talking about, almost if not everything. And that's what I advocate for, so. Definitely try to thrift everything before you do anything or secondhand shop online. You know, that's the second best way to get everything. Next, I wanna talk about cowboy boots and Western vibes, Western wear type stuff. So like vests with fringe on it. I actually have a couple that I need to list on my Depop right now. They're super cute. I think fringe, leather, um, just like Western style wear along with like cowboy and cowgirl boots. I know we saw a lot of that in spring and summer with like summer dresses and mini skirts and stuff like that, but I definitely think that's gonna carry over into the fall. Um, people who you wouldn't normally see wearing like westerny, southern type cowboy wear, I think are gonna wear them. But I recently just thrifted two pairs of cowboy boots at the thrift store. Actually, Robbie got these for me. These were $13.99. I just need to clean them up a little bit, but these brown, real leather, cowgirl, cowboy boots, whatever you wanna call them, and they have this pink stitching detail on them. Amazing condition. Can't wait to style these. The next pair I actually found at Goodwill for, let's see, $9.99 and they're in like super perfect condition other than just this little tear up here but this is real leather as well so it's not going to flake or anything and it's, they're in such good condition and i already styled these with an outfit like a month ago and i'll show you right here it was like summer to fall transitional vibe i can't wait to style these with a maxi or midi skirt as well because i already did the jeans but i'm so into midi and maxi skirts right now i cannot wait to wear these more I just think that you're gonna see that a lot. So another pair of shoes that I've seen that's gonna be trending this season is clog style shoes. And I remember this from the early 2000s. I had some clog-ish style shoes. They were probably really popular in the 90s as well, but I was a lot younger in the 90s, so I don't really remember. But I do remember having and asking my mother for some like in the early 2000s. And I actually just thrifted this pair of clog style shoes. They're really cool. Um, they're too big for me, unfortunately, so they will be on my Depop very soon. They look brand new, but they're really cool. They have like this like fake wood detail right here, this like navy blue leather situation with this stitching, and then it's got like these little like dangly embellishments. They're so interesting and just different types of clog style shoes, and they're very comfortable. You just slip them on. They're easy to style. Um, Funky socks poking out of these adds more of a style to them. You could just wear tights with them, you know, whatever. And I think Ugg even has a pair of clogs if now, if I'm not mistaken. So, and I'll try to find some that I really like on Pinterest as well to show you, but these are really cool. I think these are a size nine or 10. They're a size 42, whatever that is. Um, but yeah, I'll have, I'll be on the lookout for more of these at the thrift store as well. And I kind of want to thrift me a pair as well too. Another accessory I've been loving and that I saw briefly on TikTok was boot sleeves. Like they're kind of like leg warmers, but they kind of look more like a sleeve. I'll put an example up if I can find it. I'm gonna try my hardest. And I also saw a girl DIY some boot sleeves from some old jeans she didn't want. She just like cut them and like folded them over her boots on top. And they were like, flared boot sleeves. That's just how I can describe it. So I think that'll be something that people more DIY. Obviously, I think some fashion brands will definitely take it on if they already haven't. Um, I don't online shop from brands a lot, so I honestly don't really know what brands do. But um, they probably already have some you can buy, but honestly, take a pair of old jeans you don't like or don't fit you the right way or whatever and just cut the bottoms off and then tuck them into your boots on top and there you go, you have a boot sleeve. I think that's really cute and it's very unique and just very like Y2K cybercore wear type vibes. And I, you know, I just am into that. So I think that'll be cute to try out. I might try out some of that myself. I might thrift a pair of like damaged jeans if I can find them cheap enough and cut those, you know, repurpose something, you know? So the next trend I wanna talk about is a pattern and that is pinstripe. So obviously all you know, like the classic black and white print pinstripe vibe. I'll throw up some examples of like just the classic pinstripe. I also just thrifted a Fredericks of Hollywood two piece like blazer 
mini skirt set. I'll throw up a picture of just super classic, like business hoe vibe. I think that's going to be a vibe. It's perfect to layer with layer, like a ruffled shirt up underneath a sexy tank top underneath a sexy blouse, like V neck, or just like even a turtleneck with it. And then like some cute knee high or thigh high socks with the pinstripe skirt with some loafers. Oh my goodness. That is such a look. And then another example I wanted to show you is the skirt I'm wearing right now. It does have a pinstripe, uh, pattern to it and it is a denim so there's a lot of different things you can do a pinstripe you can find some denim pinstripe it's not just the classic black and brown or uh, black and white if you don't like that but i think it's a timeless pattern as well that you can add to your closet if you don't already have it that i that isn't going to go out of style after you maybe want to put it away for a little bit okay so this next one i feel like is pretty much a given for every year around this time. But I mean, like it's been trending throughout the spring and summer and I think it's gonna fall into fall. So it's the oversized um, cardigans and oversized knitwear, like the big, bigger hold ones, like the super like distressed looking cardigans, just super oversized slouchy cardigans and sweaters. It's pretty much a given and it's a good staple to add to your wardrobe for every single year. I don't think it's gonna be looked at as something you add to your closet like galaxy leggings or something and people are like, ew, why would you ever wear that out of the house again? No, I think it's gonna be something you can layer with for many seasons and many years to come. This next one's pretty much the same way. Um, it's leg warmers and arm warmers or arm sleeves. This was trending for the past like two years now, but I don't see it going anywhere. I just see it getting more elaborate or just more experimental with the knitwear and just the way people accessorize them. So I think it's something that, again, you can add to your closet even if you're just now hopping on the trend and you can probably still wear it for years to come. I have a good amount of arm warmers and leg warmers that I accumulated at the thrift store. Um, I found brand new in the packaging still, stuff like that at the thrift store. So always check your thrift stores for accessories. I have been seeing this all over my Instagram, all over my YouTube page, all over my Pinterest, just denim on denim and leather on leather. So basically just having like the same material all throughout your outfit. It doesn't even have to match though. So I'll throw up a photo right here of something that I wore in the springtime. The top and the bottom look like they're a matching set, but I thrifted them at completely different times and they're completely different brands, but they look very, very similar. So even if you don't have like a two piece set, you know, you don't have to go out and buy one from an expensive brand or just even Shein. You don't have to go out and buy like a matching set. As long as you thrift um, the denims that are close enough together that they will match, I think it will look cute. Even if they're like mixed match colors, I think even denim on denim, like a darker denim with a lighter denim would even look cute just depending on how you style it. Same with the leather. The leather doesn't have to be exactly the same like color, doesn't have to be exactly the same pattern. Like if you wanna be funky and do like an embossed leather, like type of like leather uh, vest, let's say. And then you have just like a pair of like patent leather, uh, almost wet look pants. I think those two would go really good together. Like screw what anybody else says that you have to have the same types of textures together. I love mixing and matching textures and patterns. So I think finding denim on denim and leather on leather isn't going to be as hard as some people want to make it out to be. I think people just assume you have to have the same for the top and the bottom or even the top, the bottom in the jacket or the top, the bottom in the shoes. No, you can do a whole monochromatic same texture, but just in different variations. So I've done that in the past, so I know you can do it. Okay, so the next trend I'm gonna talk about has been trending for the last seasons and for the last year or two. But again, I don't see it going anywhere and I just see it progressing and more people buying into it, which is cargo pants and cargo skirts or just like, you know, the parachute type pants, the big baggy pants. I am guilty of this. I love a good pair of baggy, low-waisted to mid-rise cargo pants. I wear them almost every day of my life, especially if I'm not like going to actually do something. Like if I'm just doing Depop at home, cleaning at home, running quick errands, like grocery store and stuff, I throw on a baby tee, a light jacket if I need it, a pair of cargo pants, a messenger bag, and a pair of platform Crocs or sneakers. I'm out the door all day long, comfortable. Thrifting, it's my favorite thing to wear, thrifting. They're just so comfortable, so versatile. Same with the skirts, like, they're just so damn cute. Um, if you don't like it, then sorry, but I just think they're so cute. Um, I have a few of them, especially like denim ones. I love styling them. They're, they're so easy to style. Think of a pair of jeans. 
style it the same way. Like it's just a skirt and they're just so, I just think they're timeless. I mean, maybe you don't think so, but I think they're timeless. Um, they've been in my wardrobe since I was a kid and they never really left. So I think that if you want a good pair of cargo pants, check the thrift store first and for the skirt as well. I get, I haven't ever bought a pair of cargo pants or a cargo skirt online or at a retail store. I found them all in the men's section for the cargo pants so you can get like a baggy loose waist for me because I'm hippie and plus size. Like I go to the men's section for that. And then for the cargo skirts, my local value villages always have the good cargo skirts, especially the plus size ones. So that's where I got this skirt I'm wearing today. And then I've gotten a few other ones. So definitely check your local thrift stores for the cargo items. And then going off of that, I will say midi and maxi skirts aren't going anywhere. We've seen them spring and summer. I think they're gonna carry into fall and winter. You're just gonna have to layer them more, which is just a given. So a midi and maxi skirt can still be worn in the winter. You just have to know how to layer. So a good pair of tights or two layered on top of each other under your skirt is a good way. A pair of bike shorts underneath, good layer. Also doing leg warmers and thick, tall socks with a pair of boots, like a taller pair of boots, then you're warm. And then make sure you're warm on the top too. Like it's no different than wearing a pair of jeans. You just have to know how to layer. You can wear a thermal underwear up underneath it and no one will know because it's, you know, not something very tight that you can see every little inch of. And like when you put thermal underwear under jeans, like they get tighter and everything. Like it's so comfortable with a skirt and there's so many ways to style them. Pair a huge, like you can take the knit cardigans and oversized knit sweaters we were talking about and pair that and layer those over a skirt, maxi skirt or midi skirt. Also a maxi dress as well. I love layering maxi dresses with t oversized t-shirts and oversized cardigans in the fall. So yeah, you just gotta know how to layer underneath. Get you a good pair of thick black tights, a good pair of sheer black tights, layer those up. A good pair of like long johns or thermal underwear, as you call it, I get mine at Walmart. And just pair that up under it all year long. Get some leg warmers, which is also a good trend, and some thick socks, and a good pair of like half calf or knee high boots, and you're gonna be super toasty warm. I have been seeing everyone and their mama talk about oversized bomber jackets this year, so I'm guessing that's gonna be a crazy hot trend. So we'll talk about that. I think bomber jackets, like leather bomber jackets, any style of bomber jacket is really cute and super easy to find at the thrift store. So that's something you can also thrift. Also, I've been seeing like the motocross or motor chick vibe coming back. I'll throw up some pictures, like the motor style jackets, uh, which I love. I'd probably wear that over a bomber jacket just with my style. I know I'd um, wear it more, but the bomber jacket is definitely a good closet staple to have or just even just, you know, a good leather jacket. That'll never go out of style. So I think really these trends that I'm talking about this whole video um, are stuff that could be closet staples. So just whenever you can, go thrifting for this stuff and you will find it, I promise. Another accessory I'm gonna talk about are oversized bags and purses and messenger bags. So you know how in the summertime we were going with the more Y2K vibe with like the mini bags, like right under the shoulder, like that'll obviously still be okay for like a going out for the night vibe and fall and everything. But I think for everyday wear, I mean, it was here in the summer and spring, it doesn't go anywhere. Like some of these trends I'm just talking about, I'm just thinking like, I've been wearing these for the last like five years, but whatever, you know, they're trends to some of these people. So I'll talk about them. But the messenger bag is just a good closet staple to have because especially if you live in the city, I don't live in the city. I, you know, take a car everywhere and have to drive like 15 minutes everywhere I go. But especially if you live in the city or going to school, any of that, a good oversized messenger bag, like cross body style bag is going to be a closet staple for you because not only can you carry all your books, you got your water bottles, you can carry your headphones, your notebooks, like school books, drawing pads, pencils, literally anything you need for throughout the day if you're one of those people that's gonna be gone for eight plus hours during the day. So I just think it's just another thing that isn't gonna leave during the fall that I think more people will just start hopping on the bandwagon of. So they're so easy to thrift. I have so many in my closet. I have so many in my inventory I need to list. I've had so many that I've sent out in style bundles that I do. I just think it's a good closet staple that has been timeless since the 90s, let's be real. So this last trend I'm gonna talk about, I haven't really seen a lot of people mention it. I mean, they could have and I just haven't seen it, but the indie sleaze type era I think that whole vibe, the makeup and that 
type of silhouette of outfit and everything it just does really well for fall because it's a darker vibe the makeup is just super dark um, i'll throw up some pictures of like taylor momsen and that's who i think of a lot when i think of indie sleeves and then i'll just throw up some more too a lot of like grungy punk layering just really blown out smoky eyes dark lips um messy hair i just think it's i think it's so cute and it's been here since the 90s so i don't think it's something that'll go out of style anytime soon. I just think it's just resurfacing with more people that wanna just get more experimental with their style and stuff. I'll throw up some photos of like how I do my makeup, which I think is kind of like indie sleaze-ish. Everyday makeup, if you wanna see a tutorial on that, let me know down in the comments. It's very, very easy and very affordable. Let me know down in the comments what trends you think you'll be partaking in this season. I think I everything I talked about in this video is something I'm gonna be incorporating with my wardrobe and we'll probably keep in my closet for years to come and we'll, you know, fall over into winter time as well. Let me know also down in the comments what other type of fall videos or content you want me to put out and make sure to follow my Pinterest and all of my other social medias. I'll have them linked down in the description and I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video.